Arab families from countries that make a lot of money from oil tend to be the richest. Few people know that Rothschild family is much richer than the British royal family or Elon Musk. They have almost $2 trillion in assets. It is believed that they make a staggering $390 billion a year. The Rothschild family owns more than 1,000 homes and 100 private jets. Who are the Rothschilds? Over many generations, the Rothschild family got rich by making a smart investment and being good with money. They are well-known philanthropists and business people in the European banking family. They have become wealthy and powerful through their work in banks, finance, and business. Since almost 200 years ago, the Rothschilds have been one of the most powerful families in banking, economics, and politics. A child is the best way to show that you are happy and successful. Mayor Amschel Rothschild started the family's wealth in the 1800s when he opened a financial services company in Frankfurt. With their money, they were able to buy large shares of both Shell Oil and De Beers. They built up a real estate that is easy to find in the United States, the United Kingdom, France, and Switzerland. They know a lot of important business people and leaders. The Rothschilds have stayed at the top of the banking world thanks to their many ties around the world and their uncanny ability to predict and profit from changes in the financial markets. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell to stay updated on our daily videos. Mayor M. Rothschild was born in February 23, 1744. His birth put the Rothschild family on the map. He was born in the German city of Frankfurt. Amschel Moses, his father, changed money for the Rothschilds. He and Prince Hesse Amschel made a deal together. Moses Rothschild's parents died when he was young, so he was born in a ghetto of Judengasse in Frankfurt. Mayor Amschel stayed out in banking by working as an apprentice at the bank. In a stroke of genius, he puts his five sons, Amschel, Nathan, Jacob, Solomon, and Carol, in charge of his business in the five most important banking centers in Europe. Mayor and Amschel, his oldest son, were in charge of the growing business in Frankfurt. Nathan opened the office in London in 1804, and Jacob opened the office in Paris in 1811. Solomon and Carol opened the offices in Vienna and Naples in the 1820s. The Rothschilds helped feuding Queen's finances by buying and selling wheat, cotton, colonial goods, and guns, both legally and illegally. After doing well in coal, oil, real estate, and wine, the Rothschilds branched out into other businesses. The family's wealth grew because they put money into many different things. Because the family has so many connections, they get into new businesses and take advantage of untapped opportunities. Whenever the economy was bad, five of Mayor Rothschild's kids bought a lot of stocks. Early on, they bought stocks and made other investments to boost their income. Because the businesses were smart, they made deals that were good for both sides. Mayor Rothschild married to the royal family to make sure that his family would always have money. His kids often married people who were second or third cousins. By the end of the 19th century, almost all Rothschilds had married outside the family even if they had noble or wealthy ties. This is because the practice was not carried on by the next generation. Investing in new ways to get around, talk to each other, and send power changed how people move around and talk to each other. They work on business projects like the Suez Canal and the Union Pacific Railroad. Maybe the most important thing they will do is help the next group of business leaders and money managers. The Rothschilds managed their risk, spread out their assets, and made smart investments. Many people who want to start their own business now look up to them. Cavals of criminals say they won't own 80% of the world's wealth but do nothing else. Even though what they say isn't true, let's see how they spend all of their money. The Rothschilds started out as a small business that sold goods, but they eventually grew to include merchant banking, private banking, assets management, merger and acquisitions, insurance, venture capital, pensions, and investing. Goods and loans from the government, as I said in the beginning, their homes from the 1800s are worth at $36 billion today. Their fleet is made up of 55 planes and ships. The Rothschild family has put $100 billion into the financial markets of New York, London, and Tokyo. The Rothschilds have 33 million euro, $20 billion in cash, and $6 billion in Japanese yen. Amazon, Visa, Starbucks, the Bank of America, Bloomberg, Apple Incorporated, Johnson & Johnson, the company Pfizer, JP Morgan & Co. PepsiCo are some of the biggest companies they invest in. Most of these firms have been at the top of their fields for decades. How you can talk about wealth without bringing up good wine? The Rothschilds have been making wine for 160 years, but business and money have always been their real passions. They controlled 70% of the market for wine in Europe and made $16 billion in sale in 2017. There are vines in Italy, France, and South America. 
Rothschilds gives wine from Africa, Southern America, and Oceania to the Vatican. The Rothschilds are a rich family that does boring banking for a living. Just look at how much they are spending. Yachts are often owned by the very rich. The current Rothschild family owns a luxury yacht that looks like once in the Planet 9. Nat Rothschild owns a $102 million Planet 9 super yacht. In 2018, the 240-foot tall building with a spa stands, this beautiful catamaran, which can hold 16 guests and 26 crew, was designed by high-end German designers. Nat Rothschild pays $725,000 a week or $650,000 in the winter to rent the Planet 9 boat. This famous family makes great wines at Chateau Mountain Rothschild. This 222-acre farm is worth between $150 and $200 million without the wine. How much a big house in Burdocks, France costs? The area around the farm tends to go up in value. How much do Rothschild's Cabernet and Sauvignon cost? The value of a 700 bottle is $700. Please add water to the rocks. The Rothschild own another very expensive house. Watterson Manor is near the town of Waterstone, which is in the country of Buckinghamshire. Ferdinand de Rothschild and his family bought this beautiful house in 1877 for a huge $1.8 million. It cost $250 million over time. The huge house is full of pricey pieces of art and old things. About 400,000 people go to the museum on this beautiful land every year. Beside that, what else? Queen Victoria gave the Rothschild a writing desk made by Marie Antoinette in a gold band with a queen's face on it. This beautiful house is one of their 1,800 high-end properties and it has more than 25,000 antiques and works of art. Gunnersbury Park was the first land and home estate that Mayor Rothschild built in Britain. It was finished in 1835. He paid a crazy $70,000 for it, but he spent the next 10 years fixing it up and making it better, which made it worth $132 million a century later. For the most expensive houses in Hollywood Hills, more money was paid in London's Earl's Court and Acton's Boroughs. Why does Nathan Rothschild keep his money for himself? Nope. He gave a lot of money to Jewish groups. Their generosity made its way to Paris and London. He first did good things for people in London Shul. Later, the Rothschilds gave to Israel by buying homes and buildings for the government. Nathan charities were run by his youngest daughter, Louise, and her seven sisters. In Frankfurt, there were about 30 charity foundations set up by the Rothschild family. The Rothschild family has changed over time, just like everything else in the modern world. There have always been stories about how rich they were. But no one has ever said how much money they had. In spite of what some people say, the Rothschild have a lot of money. God is the only thing that has always been the same in a world where wars, politics, and disagreements have caused family income to change. During the whole 20th century, there were times when things were bad. There weren't enough men to run Frankfurt in 1901, and there weren't enough to run Naples in 1863. After the Nazis took over Austria in 1938, the Rothschild office in Vienna closed, and the Vichy government took over the Bordeaux in Suez so that the France wouldn't be picked. When the Nazis took them, the Nazis took priceless works of art and other items that were worth millions of dollars. The Austrian government gave the family the items as a gift in 1998. In 2008, the five sons of Mayor Rothschild were finally able to merge their two European business that went back 200 years. The Rothschild family has investment in energy, banking, real estate, and even farming. The Rothschild family got through hard times. Their steady incomes comes from how hard they work, how determined they are, and how steady they are. Over the past 200 years, the money they save and spend has paid off very well. If their hearse keep the same strong beliefs, they won't have to worry. That's it for today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up below, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We post videos every week, so stay notified. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the following video.